Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Imagine a sleek business jet transformed into a flying command center, soaring high above the clouds with a massive radar plank on top, scanning hundreds of kilometers in every direction for aircraft, ships, missiles, and ground movements, all while fusing data from multiple sensors to paint a crystal clear picture of the battle space in real time for commanders on the ground or at sea, because today we're diving deep into the Saab, Global Eye Airborne Early Warning and Control Aircraft, the advanced multi-domain surveillance platform from Swedish defense giant Saab that's rapidly becoming one of the most sought-after airborne early warning and control solutions on the market, blending long-range radar detection with maritime and ground surveillance in a Bombardier Global 6000 or 6500 business jet airframe to deliver persistent all-weather awareness that's already in service with key operators and just secured a landmark contract with France in December 2025 for two aircraft with options for more, marking a major Euro European endorsement as nations look to replace aging Boeing E3 Century fleets or build new capabilities amid rising threats from advanced missiles, drones and naval forces. The globalized story begins with Saab's long expertise in airborne early warning and control systems, starting from the Erie I radar family in the 1990s that equipped platforms like the Saab 340 and Embraer R99, evolving into the Erie I extended range for greater detection distances and better performance against low observable targets. But the breakthrough came in February 2016, when Saab announced the integration of this radar onto the Bombardier Global 6000 long-range business jet to create a dedicated airborne early warning and control aircraft offering superior endurance range and crew comfort compared to smaller turboprops, with the first prototype flying in March 2018 and the system entering service in April 2020 after rigorous testing that validated its multi-domain capabilities. The platform is built around the Bombardier Global 6000 or upgraded Global 6500 airframe, known for its ultra-long range up to 12,000 nautical miles or 22,226 kilometers, high cruise speed of max 0.88 or about 915 kilometers per hour or 568 miles per hour an excellent airfield performance needing only 6,500 feet or 1,981 meters of runway for takeoff at maximum weight to operate from smaller airports, all while providing a spacious pressurized cabin with low noise and comfortable pressure altitude for the crew of up to 16 operators, including pilots and mission specialists for long missions exceeding 11 hours without refueling. Delving into the specifications that make the Global Eye a standout airborne early warning and control platform, the aircraft has an overall length of 30.4 meters or 99.7 feet, wingspan of 28.7 meters or 94 feet, height of 7.8 meters or 25.6 feet, maximum takeoff weight of 45,132 kilograms or 99,500 pounds and cruise altitude up to 15,240 meters or 50,000 feet for optimal sensor performance, powered by twin General Electric Passport turbofan engines, each producing 18,925 pounds of thrust for efficient high-speed flight and rapid climbs. The primary sensor is the Saab Area I Extended Range, active electronically scanned array radar mounted in a distinctive dorsal ski box plank above the fuselage using gallium nitride transmit receive modules for 70% greater detection range than earlier Erie I versions, reaching over 650 kilometers or 351 nautical miles for airborne targets or 450 kilometers at lower altitudes with full 360 degree coverage and modes for air, sea and ground moving target indication to track small vessels or vehicles complemented by a Leonardo Sea Spray 7500E active electronically scanned array maritime surveillance radar under the fuselage for high resolution surface search detecting even submarine periscopes or jet skis at long distances a Star Sapphire 380 HD electro optical infrared turret for day night visual identification electronic support measures for passive detection of emitters and self-protection suite with radar warning receivers missile approach, warners chaff flare dispensers and jammers for survivability in contested airspace.
Capabilities make the GlobalEye a true swing roll multi-domain airborne early warning and control solution, where its Eerie Eye extended range radar provides long-range air surveillance, detecting low-flying cruise missiles, stealth aircraft or drones at distances exceeding 460 kilometers or 248 nautical miles when at 35,000 feet, maritime search with dedicated radar spotting small boats or periscopes beyond the horizon, ground-moving target indication for tracking vehicle convoys or armoured columns in real time, and electronic intelligence to locate radars or communications nodes for targeting or suppression, all fused into a single operational picture by the Advanced Command and Control System that supports up to 16 operators at ergonomic consoles with large displays for managing complex scenarios, while secure data links share information with fighters' ships or ground forces for coordinated responses. The platform excels at persistent wide area coverage with over 11 hours endurance, rapid deployment from small airfields and low operating costs compared to larger airborne early warning and control like the E3 or E7 thanks to the business jet base, while crew comfort with rest areas, galley and low cabin noise enables sustained high-performance missions without fatigue. Operators and production highlight the globalized growing footprint with the United Arab Emirates as launch customer, operating five aircraft delivered between 2020 and 2024 for comprehensive regional surveillance. Sweden ordering three with deliveries from 2027 to replace donated Saab 340 airborne early warning and control, and France finalizing a $1.3 billion contract in December 2025 for two with options for two more to replace aging E3F Century Fleet with deliveries planned 2029 to 2032, strengthening European sovereignty. Interest extends to Canada, presenting it at CANSEC 2025 as alternative to E7. Saudi Arabia during state visits, Qatar for expansion, and others like Denmark, Greece or South Korea, evaluating amid NATO's search for future airborne early warning and control after E7 cancellations while Saab ramps production with framework agreements for maintenance and partnerships like CAE for training to support global operators. As of December 2025, the Global Eye surges with France's contract solidifying its European role, Sweden preparing for deliveries, and Saab pitching to NATO partners for collective airborne early warning and control amid shifting programs. So, the Saab Global Eye Airborne Early Warning and Control Aircraft is a multi-domain vanguard of visionary vigilance blending long-range radar, maritime sensors and command connectivity to illuminate air, sea and land. What are your thoughts on the Global Eye? Thrilled by its 650km detection and France's order? Skeptical of business jet limits versus larger platforms? Or curious about comparisons to E7? Share your insights in the comments below. Give this video a like if it's scanned for you, share it with your surveillance crew, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more deep dives into the eyes watching tomorrow's battle space. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.